we are embarking on our longest cruise ever <laughs> along the Angotta Canal. About 15 minutes. Maybe 30. We want to show you the Narrows, where I get off and walk to check that there's no boat coming. We'll also show you where the trip boat leads from and also the Langochlin Basin. That's a clue as to where we're going today. <laughs> the sign we're approaching warns us about the Narrows and suggests that we more up and go and check. Or if you have multiple crew members, send one on. So we had this system for the last narrows and it worked really well. I go up ahead and I get to walk and it's beautiful. Like it's absolutely stunning. And Kath does the narrows. She doesn't want to swap, but she's not incredibly happy about doing the narrows because there are some really windy bits, but she's doing a super good job. I did offer. There'd be a lot more screaming involved if I was doing it. I think we both know that. There's two options you have when you're coming to visit the end of the Langochlin Canal at the town called Langochlin. You can moor to visit a mooring, like what we've been doing, which is just past a swing bridge. And it's free and you can stay there for a while in winter, two weeks. Or you can come down to the basin itself if you come down to the basin, you've got some linear mooring and what that means is you can actually moor up on the canal and it has a little electricity post and a water outlet. You get charged six pounds a day and you're allowed to stay for 48 hours. Or you can do option two, which is moor up in the basin itself and the basin has several pontoons finger pontoons, it has electricity, it has water and it also has a little um, bit more privacy we think. For the cats it's a little bit safer so we've been moored up quite close to an A road just down on this side which is also where the linear moorings are and the cats are going a little bit crazy so we're going to opt to moor in the basin for 48 hours and it should be absolutely beautiful. And then we're going to take a walk to the Horseshoe Falls, which is where you get a lot of this current from that flows all the way down the Langochlin into the Shropshire Union Canal. These carriages, oh, they might be the horse-drawn carriages. No. They have no engine, but they have like little links to link them together like a train and maybe they have their, another boat that pulls them along. Be gorgeous in summer. It'd be actually really beautiful today, but I guess the windows get really wet. Just up ahead, the, the canal continues, but we can't go that way because there's a no entry sign. But the basin is just on the starboard side. I hope there's a spot.
a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view You will find that life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm Step into the river and get down on your knees. Thanks for coming on the journey with us. We're safely moored up and we have loved every minute of this narrowboat experience. Thanks so much for watching and commenting, and of course, as always, for liking and subscribing. Grab him. I'm in charge of her. Now my fender escaped. <laughs>